consider this your warning for probably this and the next game. There may be a uh, photosensitivity warning. Specifically, just because of how the games do things. Tanakamara! My name is Sage Blake. I'm a wanderer, storyteller, artist immature, and. Okay, I have a bit of a story on this one. See, during the uh, Steam Summer stream that I did about a month back, I found a bunch of games, right? For whatever reason, some of the ones that I ended up downloading just didn't work at all. Which is kind of annoying, honestly, because like some of these games I wanted to take a look at but never got the chance to, specifically because Steam. <laughs> But I was able to find them after a bit of flailing, and yeah, I figured I'd at least take a look at two, maybe three of them, then probably just mess around for the remaining time. So to start with, we have what is a rhythm game. Dab's not dead. This particular game prides itself on a few different things, among which including an entire adventure mode with a whole bunch of boss fights, at least 20 different songs, I believe. There is a boss rush mode, and I think also something that's also somewhat roguelike, so if that's to your taste, take a look at it. These demos are all up on Steam, it's not going to be too terrible to find them. is confirmed. Because, like, I'm hitting enter, left, right, up, down. Tab doesn't do anything. Mash all the buttons. What the hell am I doing wrong? No, seriously, what the heck am I... Oh, it's hold enter. Wow, I'm dumb. I'm completely dumb. That's actually a good design choice. Ugh. Oh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, hello, random guy of IDK. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> also, sorry for the delayed response. Just, uh... I think Steam is giving... Is it not Steam? Wow. Twitch is giving me some weird hiccups. <laughs> I mean, it's a fair assessment. Everything's better with music. Things are also worse with music, but hey. But yeah, part of the aesthetic of this specific game is, like, uh, net surfing and some similar, if I remember correctly. I want to say, like, the main character is some type of AI program. You can also play this game with a friend, too, so yeah, if you've got someone around that you want to play with, go ahead. This being a rhythm game, everything happens to the beat. So far, it's got some really synthwave music. Okay, 
so collect a whole bunch of data, I assume. simple. Full sync. Okay. Clearing levels gets you currency. You can use that currency to buy up upgrades. No idea what those upgrades could be, though. So. Don't miss beats to keep your multiplier high. Missing them drops your groove. By the look of it, it seems like you always have to keep moving. But if you don't want to miss something on the sides, it seems like you can continually rub against the walls. That's good to know. Get so far. All these seem to be happening on ske on schedule three beats. Ah, I missed the last one. Oh well. Still not bad, all things considered. Could be better though. A good chunk of the challenge of this game seems to be, like, similar to Necrodancer in making really quick last-second decisions. Or otherwise planning everything ahead of time. Such, if you've seen me play Necrodancer, um... Uh, little awkward on my end. So that's good. Shy on data again. <laughs> That's just gonna be a common thing, isn't it? But apparently, it's an S rank, so I'll take it. So far, this is a really nice, chill experience. I kind of like it.
Avoid secure data with higher power than yours. All right. So anything higher than a one. I wonder if there's gonna be a way to raise your data count. So it looks like the health system is based on a subtraction. So the difference between my current data value and whatever I collide with, I suffer as damage. It's an L. A rank performance, not bad. And a bit of a gift. are fairly simple to pick up. Such, that's good. Keep an eye for change blocks. Okay, no idea what they do. Guess I'll figure it out. Okay, they changed the data value. Good information. So far, not a bad gimmick. Constantly need to be changing your data value in order to pick up the things that you normally wouldn't be able to. I'm gonna make the assumption that in certain points there will be data blocks that are like below your value but will damage you if you pick them up. We'll see. Then again, this is a demo, so uh, probably won't be a gimmick that appears. But I could probably picture that being a gimmick at some point. Collect enough data should make a diagnosis. Good to know. Let's do this. Those 
two, one. That's rude. I didn't realize that was gonna stop me right there. Watch for jackpots. Note it. Two, one. Pretty good gimmicks so far. You really gotta do a whole lot of careful wiggling around. Unfortunately, uh, I got sucker punched a few too many times by my own stupidity. <laughs> eh, what can you do? Damage security system. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Cyberspace breaks a global crisis happen. Oh, so post COVID. But I'm Tish. The High Cancellor. Nice name. Uh -huh. Well, I guess I'm roped into this. Did I get the sunglasses at all? Hmm. Now oh, well. Access denied. <laughs> Alright, if access is denied, then we'll just have to hack our way. Simple as that. So what have we got to deal with this time? Restore your sync by collecting boosters. Blocks with equal power to your own. So anything with its value of two. Interesting. Nice bit of shuffle step here. Two, one. Two, three. One, two, three. Things still happening in groups of threes. By the look of it, collecting boosters doesn't improve my data score. Get to know. So pretty much past a certain point, you don't exactly want to heal, per se. Well, unless it boosts your sync value. Such I think full sync is, like, 20? Probably don't need to heal past then.
Good way to keep yourself in a fight. And ever so carefully, more dis micro decisions need to be made in a level. Two, one. Two, three. Two, three. Keep the loser too. Sixteen. There we go. We'll see. Shit. Ah, I panic. Move a little too quickly. Double groove. That's something. But I did lose full sync for that. Oh well, what can you do? Oh no, wait! I did get full sync. Never mind. Perfect performance. Ish. By the look of it, it seems like the boss levels of the adventure mode are essentially the full song. Other than that, you're getting like a little snippet to introduce you to a bunch of mechanics. Move near secure data to gain tension. Tension boosts data healing and reduces damage. Okay, so there's a grazing system. Good to know. Surprisingly bullet hell, all things considered. That's a good thing. A bit more health, just in case. Good. Two, one, one. Good. Getting a lot of health, nice. Looks like PA. If I was doing a bit more grazing, then that would probably get the S rank that I'd need for all, all the data there. Eh, no. Extra groove. Not bad, but I made a really bad decision, and that's gonna cost me the perfect score. Never mind, I still got the S. I'll take it! Even though my sync was kinda crap, it's probably still two data. Watch. Never mind! I'll take it! Just in case. Oh no, it's moving. Hope no one out there gets motion sick. Fortunately, I've got good stomach, so uh, that's a no on my end, but just in case.
That was a quick set of beats on the end there. That has me worried for the boss fight. Because a track with a changing BPM is going to be interesting to try and figure out. 